quiet mornings are a way that I enjoy starting my day. Lighting the candle on this particular day and making sure I get some of my water in and my morning routine. And then I'm just enjoying some time making my sourdough bread just all by myself in the kitchen. And sometimes that happens, but most of the time it does not. And I just am relishing this time. I have my diffuser going with some um, warming scents and just gonna get my day started off right. Continuing my morning routine with my devotional with my husband and reading in God's word. Just always something that encourages me for my day and that I couldn't do without. Then after all the routine is done, it's time to get breakfast started. And sometimes I'll just do it by candlelight and a little light. Uh, other times we'll flip on the overhead light and get the day rolling. But I am just enjoying the coziness that this morning brings. And still in my pajamas. I got this set off of Amazon, but I really like the matching pair. I can link it for you below if you're interested. And then after I got changed, got the dishes cleaned up, it's time to start off the morning with some sunlight and daylight. It's actually not sunny. We had a couple weeks of just fog every morning and then settling in through the day. But opening up the curtains and the blinds for the day is just wonderful. Let that light in, especially in the dreary winter months. And it was a day to do the sheets, so I am making sure to get my sheets changed, swapped out, and doing laundry. It, there's just something important to me about making my bed. It really just, you know, that one more thing to have accomplished, and it's not perfectly made. We don't have all the beautiful throw pillows, uh, just a few on there to make it nice and cozy for us. And then right after the bed's made, little one goes down for a nap and is back in play. And just look at all that fog, it's settled back in and it's just one of those kind of gloomy days. I'm getting some wonderful raw heavy cream in my black coffee or black Americano, I should say. Taking a few sips, enjoying some flowers that I purchased for myself and just looking outside getting a little respite before the day continues. And honestly, I am getting our supper going this morning because we are having a broccoli cheese soup. And yes, I did it easy. I am doing pre-chopped broccoli that was on sale at our local grocery store. I am doing the boxed chicken stock or chicken broth as well. I usually do my own chicken broth, but that did not happen this time. So this soup is wonderful because you can put it in the crock pot and let it simmer for five to six hours on high or on low a little longer. So if you are working mom, this would probably work well for you. It has broccoli in it, celery, onion, garlic. It's just such a cozy, warm soup with lots of flavor. This winter, I've been sticking to some similar meals. I'm making sure we have like a meat or a protein or have a soup and then a carb and a veggie. And so this crock pot meal is just one I've made a couple times and I wanted to share it with you because we've enjoyed it so much that it's just nice and simple and it's a lot of creaminess. So it's got the milk in it. It's got a bunch of cheese, but it's a winner for kids and I just think it's one that I will keep in my back pocket for next winter and even a few more times this year. All right, I wanna do a little organizing project, very simple organizing project. I can barely open this drawer because it is my sandwich bags, gallon bags drawer and my wraps, cling wraps, um, saran wrap, you know, aluminum foil, things like that. So I'm just taking everything out and then just wiping it out because it is an older kitchen and there are little wood chip sawdust that always seems to fall whenever I open a drawer or a cupboard, but that is just the way it goes. And my liner that I have, the polka dots, that was from when we moved in. It's not really my style anymore, but now is not the time for me to change it. 
Anyways, I got this new organizer on Amazon too, and I just think it's going to be so much more convenient for us. Sometimes it's worth investing into those quality products that will ease up your life. And so this wooden organizer, I will link for you. I got it from Amazon. I want to say it was $16 or so, but it has all the sizes, the labels for the gallon bag, sandwich, a snack and quart bag and we do use those quite often yes we do use reusable containers as well but this is handy for the times when we need the bags and it's already looking much nicer much more organized i can fit things in there well and see everything and i do put my dough mat in there and rolling pin and it sure just worked like a charm all right, to another recipe. I'm going to make a gluten-free chocolate muffin for you. And it has banana in it, as you see, almond flour, coconut flour, honey for the sweetener. It's one my sister actually has made many times because of the almond flour. It has a little more protein in it and it's really delicious. I could almost eat it as a dessert and it's just something that I like to do for my family is make muffins. So I shared a muffin recipe in my last video and here I am again, but it's winter time, it's baking time. And so I will be sharing recipes with you probably as long as I'm doing YouTube anyways, cause that's just who I am. I'm homemaking for my family. <laughs> Muffins are baked and fresh out of the oven and I'm taking them out after they sat to cool for a little bit. I am definitely a muffin lover. I enjoy having them for morning for breakfast or even for a snack along with my kiddos. So let me know in the comments below what is one of your favorite muffin recipes that you have. Even though it was foggy and cloudy, it's still melting and a mess outside, but it is beautiful to get outside to enjoy that fresh air and what better way than going for a little stroll. Then we are coming back in so I can finish up the supper. So about half hour to an hour before you serve the soup, you put your milk with cornstarch in it or arrowroot powder, some thickening agent and then all that wonderful cheese. So I just had a cheddar cheese block that I grated. I have done a raw white cheddar and organic um, extra sharp white cheddar that I've done. So I've done it a couple of times. I think I liked it better with the raw white than this yellow cheddar, but it still was delicious. And then what better way to get the evening meal going and ready then to light a candle and eat the meal by candlelight. I have really been enjoying the coziness that candles bring to my kitchen and my home this season and it's just really been a joy and part of I think what is helping me through the winter. But the sourdough bread is baked. I have it sliced and ready to go along with our soup and I am blending the soup. Um, it splattered all over my face, but immersion blenders are amazing. So I use those often. The fog is rolling in again before supper time. And so I just wanted to share, even though it's foggy, it's beautiful. Even though the day was dreary, there is always beauty in homemaking. Mm -hmm. 